When you have strong feelings for a guy, it can be really tricky and confusing to grasp the true meaning behind the words they say to you. What's worse is that there's certain phrases that are big red flags most women miss that can end up costing you months or even years with the wrong guy. So today I'm gonna to reveal the true meaning behind five misleading things men say to women that consistently get them in trouble so you can avoid getting played. Imagine you're driving late at night in a road you're not familiar with. A storm begins to approach and as you get to a fork in the road, you see that the sign says turn left with an arrow to your destination. But what if somebody the night before switched the sign and you're supposed to turn right? What happens if you turn left? Well, you're going to drive, you're going to endanger your life as the storm approaches and you're never going to reach your destination. This is so similar to what happens when you connect with a guy who gives you some false, misleading, confusing verbiage and you interpret it as something else and you invest energy and time and emotions and heart on something that's never gonna lead you to the promised land. My intention behind sharing these five common yet very often overlooked phrases that are misleading men say to women is to give you a hint, a heads up, so that when you encounter them, you have the insight to clarify, to verify, and if need be, to move away from a situation or a guy who doesn't want to shoot straight and tell you the truth. The first phrase that gets women in trouble is in the context of figuring out what a guy is looking for in a relationship. Maybe you've been dating him for a while and you have that talk where you're talking about where is this going. And instead of sharing clearly where he's intending to go with this relationship, what he wants out of life and intimacy, he plays it back and says, let's just see where this goes. I'm more of a spontaneous type of guy. I don't like to label things. Uh, I'm open to anything. Uh, whenever a guy says things like, let's just see where this goes, is really what he's saying is, I don't have any idea where I want this to go. Or worse, I don't want this to go anywhere, but I don't have the courage to tell you I don't want to go anywhere because I know if I say that to you, you're going to stop connecting with me. So I'm going to play it vague to you. I'm going to give you the hint of a mirage of maybe a possibility. So just enough to hold you captive in this embrace, but not enough for you to make a decision one way or the other. So whenever you're looking for a serious relationship, I'm talking about a commitment that ends up in marriage or life partnership. You should only date men who want something similar. So if you connect with someone who's playing it to you this relaxed, this spontaneous, this free soul, whatever happens, happens. Understand he's telling you, I'm not looking for what you're looking for, so you better do something with that information. The second phrase that gets women in trouble is in the context of you sharing a boundary, maybe a physical boundary, maybe a sexual boundary, maybe a time boundary. And instead of honoring your boundary or stating here's exactly what I want, he throws it back at you and he tries to either guilt you or shame you. He may say something to you like, why are you being too uptight? You're insecure. Imagine that the guy asks you to go to his house on the first or second date and you think it's too early. And instead of him recognizing when you set the boundary of I wanted more time before I go to your house, say, cool, let's just go to a restaurant, a bar, wherever. He says, no, why not? You're too uptight. You don't trust me? Are you insecure about yourself? Here's the thing. When a guy doesn't get that in this day and age, you're more at risk than he is, and he's playing with his words as he's throwing it back at you, that you're insecure, you're uptight. What he's really saying is, I don't have the vision, I don't have the capacity to invest in something today that's gonna yield fruit tomorrow. There's many guys out there who have this magic beans mentality where they think they're gonna throw magic beans in the ground and tomorrow morning they'll grow up and it's a beautiful 10 foot tall plant. Cryptocurrency strikes us <laughs> this kind of mentality, a Ponzi scheme type of deal. So my recommendation when somebody's saying you're uptight or you're insecure when what you're sharing is here's what I need to feel safe is that you grasp the true meaning behind it is which is I don't have the interest to invest in what I need to invest to reap the rewards that I'm looking for. And that's typically a sign for you to run away. It's also, he might be saying, I'm at a different life stage than you are. You might want something serious and he's not, but he's gonna play it as it's your fault versus his. 
The third one, if you're sensitive and if you're understanding and if you're looking for somebody who's ambitious, then in your mind, then there's obviously a time for the guy who's ambitious and who wants to create something out of his life to be busy. Here's the difference. When a guy is in the context of saying why he hasn't called you for a week, why he hasn't made plans with you, why he doesn't have the follow through that you're hoping that he would have if he wants what he says he's wanting, he's like, I'm just too busy for doing this. Let me just paint a clear picture. You know how long it takes to text someone to say, I'm thinking of you? Three seconds. You know how long it takes to call someone and say, hey, I may not have time this week, but here's what I'm looking to connect with you. Here's the plan I have. Would you like to connect with me that way? It takes maybe 60 seconds. And here's another picture I'd like to paint. That guy is making time for whatever he thinks is really important in his life. Maybe the game with his friends that he really wants to watch. Maybe the videos he's watching on his phone. Maybe he's definitely eating, he's definitely going to the bathroom. So whatever he finds essential in his life, he's finding time for. Whenever a guy says, I'm too busy, he's basically saying, I'm too busy for you, not I'm too busy in life. He's saying, I don't prioritize you, I don't prioritize an intimate relationship the way probably I would need to, to create something long lasting. So don't buy into the myth of I'm too busy consistently. Obviously, there's gonna be times where you're busy, where he's busy. When this becomes the default excuse for not pursuing you, for not making changes, just understand what he's really saying is, I don't have time in my life for something this intense, I don't have time in my life for something serious, so take it with a grain of salt, and most likely than not, if you can't clarify, if he can't step into it, move on. Now, if you're hearing this and you're single, my hypothesis is, you don't fully grasp the true reason, I mean the root cause why you're still single. So what I've done is I've taken 12 years of helping women in every continent, every walk of life, every love challenge you can imagine, and helping them to find true love, long-lasting love, marriages, life partnerships, and created a quiz that you can take in about 60 seconds that will reveal to you the true reason why you're still single. If you wanna get your answer, all you have to do is go to the first link in the description of this video, You'll see a page that looks like this. Answer a few simple questions and you'll receive two things in 60 seconds. The first thing is the answer to the question why you're still single. And second, a report that's gonna show you based on your specific blind spot, what is the number one thing you can do starting today to reverse course and attract the guy you want in a fraction of the time. Phrase number five is something that requires nuance and consideration, why? Because there might be many different contexts in which this is shared, so not all phrases are made equal. As I shared earlier, the intensity, the frequency, the context in which it's shared is important. So if he says something to you along the lines of, you're too good for me, or I don't deserve you, he might just be playing it cutesy and trying to uplift you in some way, saying you're great, but he might be really saying, I'm not invested the way you are. I'm not prioritizing this the way you are. I don't have the integrity you have in the relationship. So make sure when a guy is sharing in bits and pieces, you're too good for me, I don't deserve you, what he really means. Maybe he means that you are more into him than he's into you. And if that's the case, you wanna find out why. And if he's not interested in something, instead of saying, I want to invest more, I wanna get better, I wanna get more, I wanna have more integrity, I wanna be more truthful about things, he's saying, oh, you're too good for me. That may be a cop-out. That may be a way of him saying, I'm gonna take the chicken exit, and you're too good for me means I don't want to invest the way I need to to get the result that we're looking for. The last one is something that in the context of a relationship can be so hurtful. In the context of dating someone can also be hurtful because it can lower your self-esteem, it can make you doubt yourself, and it can create an atmosphere of fear, insecurity, and a wrong type of attachment with someone. And that's when a guy is sharing with you things that hurt you, things that are disrespectful, things that are passive aggressive, and his response when confronted, even when confronted nicely and respectfully about the whole thing is, stop being so uptight, stop being so sensitive. I was just joking. So when a guy is saying, I was just joking, in the context of you sharing something serious, something that's hurting you, what he's really saying is, I don't have the testicular fortitude to tell you to your face the way I think about you, so I'm going to resort to playing a little trick on you where I'm passively aggressively sharing the things I really think about you, and then when confronted, I'm gonna come back and say, it was just a joke, but really, I want to say this, and I don't have the courage to say it, so I'm just gonna play it left and right this way. He's also saying, I don't have the empathy to listen to what you have to say, I don't have the compassion to understand when your heart is hurting that I need to stop. So this is one where if it's consistent, and 
Again, depending upon the angles he's sharing with you and those jokes that are not really funny to anyone other than him, is that he might be a guy who lacks empathy, he lacks the capacity to feel your pain, and when that's the case, that might be a long road towards a destination you do not want to arrive at. Hope this is helpful and useful. If it is, it would mean a lot to me and to my channel if you click like and subscribe. And if you want to understand how you can attract the guy you want without the need for gimmicks, manipulation, tricks, or stupid techniques, make sure you watch the next video right here.